Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Alice, and I am back again with another video. Oh, I am so tired. It has been a long week, you guys. The whole weekend, I drove my son around to look for a car. His credit is too low. His credit's really low. Okay? Um, like, for instance, his score is a 450-something. Four, then, um... I tried to co-sign, but I just started my credit, and I, I, I just, I can't. I, I just started credit for myself, and how would that be, me starting credit for myself, and then the next day, get taken away from me on a car loan that I'm going to have to worry about the rest of the next seven years? Not to mention my family's helping, and I hope and pray to God they just don't throw this in my face. And I mean, I'm being really honest with you. I, I'm a, I'm the baby of all of them, and they do sneaky stuff. And I'm not lying. Like I didn't know my sister co-signed on him a car, that car. Nobody told me, and they just kept it from me. I don't think that's right at all. I don't think that anybody should go behind anybody's back and do anything for someone's child without telling them no matter how old they are. I don't care. No matter how old they are, nobody, nobody should do anything for your children if they don't talk to you as the parent to say, hey, he's in trouble. I, I, I know you don't have good credit. Listen, it's, 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 it's not the fact that I have bad credit I thought all of these years when I was married I didn't have a credit card I wasn't allowed to have a credit card to my ex-husband so I haven't had a credit card I'm 47 I'll be 48 so I haven't had a credit card in a long time I'd say at least over what how old Mal's 20 so 27, maybe 25 years. I've never had a loan in my name. When I got married, the house was in his name. The cars were in his name. Everything was in his name. I didn't even have a bill. So I, I just never had credit. I thought I had bad credit, but I didn't have bad credit. I had no credit. When they ran my credit, it came back as a zero. A zero. Could you, did you, would you imagine if somebody said at your age, at my age, your credit is a zero. There's nothing on it. Nothing. So, pay attention to your bank apps, guys. Bank apps will show you stuff that you don't know that you qualify for. Okay, so let's just say at the bank, uh, on my app I was doing Zelle. I don't know what Zelle is. I have no, I don't transfer money from one account to somebody's account at five states over. Okay, so I just sat there and I was like, um, I'm sorry, there was construction workers trying to tell the people to slow down. But I drive slow anyway through construction because I'm not hitting no back. I'm not hitting no back. So anyway. I'm on my way home. I just dropped Bella off to get groomed at PetSmart. So I'll be coming about going back to pick her up. So I'm going to make a video of the stuff I bought her because I got to tell you why I had to buy this stuff for her. Um... And then you guys can meet her later on. So, um, I'm on my way home. I just dropped her off. I got my medicine and I'm, so, you know, but I, I don't sleep. I have insomnia. So I have certain medications that I take that help with the insomnia. Okay. So... What I'm saying is I had all my other medications, but because they don't 
have, people are low on drivers. The deliveries aren't coming right away. With, like they're supposed to. They're late. The medicine that I needed to go to sleep, which is called quetiapine, what they is what they give soldiers when they come home from the war. My PTSD is that bad that they give. I'm on medications that they give the veterans. So I sleep. When I go to sleep, I wake up. I don't even know I'm going to sleep. I just wake up. That's all I do. I take my medicine and I wake up. And I and I feel, wow, I had a good night sleep. So I went on my bank app. Back to that. Anyway, I was up all night. I sat up all night long. I cut off the light. I got snuggled in the bed. And I still could not, could not go to sleep. So I was up, I've been up all day yesterday, all night till now. And I'm I'm not going to take a nap or go to bed. I got too much to do. Just too much to do. Um, but I'm gonna jump off of here. I like, hey guys, when I take a deep breath and I sigh, my mind goes where I'm thinking it and I, I got to bring it back. I try to learn how to cut that off with my, you know, with help from my doctor. But it's a rainy day. It's a gloomy day. The sun is not out. As you can see, it does not look sunshiny anymore. The, I just know it's fall. It's just time to get cooled down now. It's time to break out the winter clothes. So... I'm going to break out those winter clothes because I can't be walking around. Uh, I don't know, though. I got to take that back because the weatherman did say that it's supposed to get really, really hot again. But see, I got mixed up in the change. I slept under a fan the other day and I got myself stuffed up. And a phlegmy cough. But this time every year, I always get bronchitis. My bronchitis acts up this time every year it's always when the kids go back to school it has been since i've been a child so that came back on top of this because i never get a, a stuffy nose and don't worry guys i am vaccinated so <sighs> problem is my son is not but when i get in the house and it uh they leave to go look for a car because i'm Kevin, my husband, he's, they're taking him to go look at a car. And I'm just going to cook, get ready, get, just get ready to do the stuff I gotta do. Because I had to clean my house and get everything uncluttered just because I didn't want to have to do worry about it while my son is living there. Because I, he's cleaner than my daughter. I could, I gotta tell you, he keeps his clothes in place. He, he's not messy. He's 27 years old. I don't have to babysit. You know, I don't have to babysit him. Or take him with me. Because he don't want to hang out with me. He just wants me to cook. So anyway. I'm getting ready to get in this house. I'm pulling up to it now. And I will talk to you guys. Uh, give me a little while. I'll talk to you guys. Okay. Alright. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Bye.